Joining me now, Liz Harrington, Trump spokesperson and a former spokesperson for the RNC, the Republican National Committee. It's good to have you. Liz, help me understand. What is the president suggesting when he says, take our country back, get out and protest. There will be death and destruction, suggesting that happens if he's indicted. Does he really want those to be the stakes? Well, Chris, he's calling for everyone to act on their God-given constitutional rights in the First Amendment to peaceably assemble and protest this corruption. And Chris, you just said it. You said the people should decide. You should let, let's have a debate. Let's have an election. The real problem here is they're trying to take away that choice from the American people. These corrupt DAs, the DOJ, the FBI, you name it, for seven years, they haven't been investigating crimes. They've been investigating a person, why? to stop him and to stop his political movement. And he talked about two sides in this country. You're on to something here, but the two sides are not left and right. It's the uniparty, the, the people in power versus the people. That is the two sides here that we have right now. And you talk about all the bad things happening in our country. The uniparty is very content with the status quo because they get richer, they get more power, and they're happy as long, as long as those two things continue. Well, who disrupts the status quo? It's President Donald J. Trump in the best way, in making America great again, restoring us to common sense, peace and prosperity, which we had uh, under his first term. So that's what he wants right. to get back to. That's what we need All to right, protest, listen. this corruption that is out of control and, and inter- interfering in our elections. Listen, Liz. You know me, you know I want you to make your case, and you're welcome here to do that. Peace was not ever uh, a go-to for Donald Trump. He has been disruptive. It worked for him because people are afraid and they're angry. And you have to explain to me how you would advise the former president to use the same language he used before January 6th and expect a different outcome. Why would you say the same thing that you did then? Well, what he said then was go peacefully and patriotically and have your let your voices be heard. He couldn't control the fact that there were many FBI informants trying to stoke violence and ushering people oh, in. So that you know that please, the, you know please, the videotape please, shows please, Liz, that please. Capitol Hill police. How do you make anything doors. better? How do you make the anything The only people who had interest in feeding that kind of that tribe. day were the people who wanted to shield the American public from the evidence of election fraud. That was what was stopped that day. And you know that's you true. You really believe that all of this happening was about FBI plants making I, it happen? Follow, follow really? some evidence that's coming out of this Proud Boys trial. And the evidence of anybody talking about, you know, some sort of violence or taking over the government was actually written by someone who worked for the government. So look, I mean, I think a lot of innocent people got caught up in it. There were a lot of people, and yes, they were angry because their election had just been rigged and stolen. They took advantage of that. They did not have proper security. Nancy Pelosi denied the request by President Trump to have at least 10,000 to 20,000 National Guard. Why was that denied? Why did they not have proper security in place when they knew that a million people could show up that day? And probably a million people did. I mean, they were asking for violence and much in the way that they're doing it now. They would love the only person to be violent, and we who do asked not for violence, violence was the man who asked for violence. When? But I when do want to get I want to get violence. one thing straight. No, he's saying he, if you listen, do this, if you do this to the most yeah. popular political figure when in the he country, said go down to the Capitol and path. let them know how we feel. The people are screaming Peacefully that they're going to hang Pence. Listen, there's nothing patriotic about any of this, and you know it. But I want to ask you one more thing, Liz, just so we can kind of be on the same page about where this is headed. Does the former president really intend to campaign to be president again on the basis that the last election was stolen from him? He's just going to always speak the truth. And if we don't have free and fair elections, we don't have a country. I mean, there's a case going on in Arizona right now that that shows how botched our elections are. No, 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 no. There is nothing that shows that the election was stolen from him. 
And that's I could from go your through evidence for people. hours on your show. Please no, have me back and I'll show it you. can go through nonsense and speculation it's and things nonsense. that you had it's designed by camera. people who were looking it's for a certain outcome. This has been litigated. In drop boxes. That's just one this has of been litigated. Of this has been litigated no, and lost, but that's not the point. Oh, yes, it has. It's been That's thrown out for lack though. of standing, and there's actually still cases to this day that have it's not been, been heard. It's been thrown out that we're for lack of Georgia sufficiency. His lawyers have been censured and have their license threatened for procuring and promoting lies. All I wanted to hear you say is, yes, that's going to be the basis of our campaign, that this was stolen, because I think that's going to matter to a majority of Americans. That's his position, basis, as you just put it. The basis of Donald his campaign Trump says the election is making was stolen. America great again and returning power to the people like he did in his first term. And you talk about, you know, no one's talking about the future. No one's, uh, it's all just this bad news mm. all the time. Take a look at what President Trump has been putting out. Just put out a plan to make 10 new cities, uh, really looking to the future and beautifying our cities. I mean, these are really good, smart future looking ideas, I mean, the, he is full of them. And that's what this campaign is about. But when he's asked about it and when we talk about it, yes, we have to talk about our crooked elections because they are broken. You know it, Chris, your viewers know it, they've seen it. And look no further than these ongoing cases that the Arizona Supreme Court just handed a victory to Carrie Lake that you have to look at signature verification. You know that mail-in ballots lead to fraud. I mean, there's so much chain of custody. That issues. is not, hold on. I, didn't, uh, I don't know that because it is not a matter of fact. It has been, been found to be France the opposite. France banned them because this, they were so This last the fraud election, this is not France. This last election well, maybe by we the should Republicans. Have same day voting paper ballots. This what last, is so wrong with that? This le we, the, you, you can have that. This last election has more Republicans and Democrats saying that it was safer than anything they've ever had before and went better than anything they've had before. But the facts aren't what this is about. This is about uh, what he's going to present going forward. That's why I had you on and I appreciate you for doing so. Thank you for taking the opportunity. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.